The debate over the death penalty is well known. Many critics say it is cruel and unusual punishment. Well, now a judge who has sent criminals to death row is adding his voice to those who say it's time for California to get out of the killing business, but not because he's concerned about the convicts. Alan Martin reports he is worried about the victims. They called him the hanging judge of Orange County, a title Donald McCartan is proud of for sending nine men to death row. I would make Attila Hun look left wing. And that's just he even keeps their pictures on his wall. He killed, raped, mutilated. Among them, the freeway killer, Randy Kraft, linked to 67 murders and sentenced to death in 1989. He's done it all. Rodney Alcala, convicted of torturing and killing 12-year-old Robin Samso and four other young women and suspected of many more, sentenced to death in 1980. Judge McCartan left the bench nearly two decades ago, but says he expects to die long before most of the men he sentenced, and that makes him mad. Going through the charade that we are going to uh, give the victim finality by killing, killing the killer. Ain't true. So last month, he sent this letter to Governor Jerry Brown, saying the state has spent, quote, millions of tax dollars in this meaningless and ultimately fruitless pursuit of death and urging the governor to end the death penalty. Judge McCartan is absolutely right when he calls the system a, a charade. Anti-death penalty groups like Death Penalty Focus welcome the judge to their side. Many people say that we need the death penalty for justice and that you can't put a price on justice. But the truth is, you can put a price on the death penalty, and it's extremely expensive. To house the 713 prisoners on death row costs about $70 million a year. Taxpayers also pick up the tab for both sides of their court appeals, prosecution and defense for another $60 million a year. Death penalty opponents point out that California could save $1 billion over the next five years by commuting death sentences to life in prison without parole. Believe it or not, it is far cheaper to keep a prisoner for life than it is to try to kill him. About $175,000 less per prisoner per year. What we need to do is fix the system. We did get pop with that child. Though. Michael Rushford of the Criminal Justice Legal Foundation says costs are skyrocketing because death penalty opponents have rigged the system, causing delay after delay. Indeed, we spend more time on death cases, and we should. We want to make sure we're doing the right thing. We want to make sure we've got the right guy. But five years should be enough. And if they're just bodies laying everywhere. He points to Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh. Got, you know, the federal court system yeah. took just six years to try, convict, and hear appeals before McVeigh was executed. And Rushford says we'd save money by adopting the same system in California. So we focus on guilt and not on procedural issues and not on technicalities. I wait. There's nothing that I can do. It's been 18 years since Polly Class was kidnapped and murdered, and her father has no doubt what justice her killer deserves. I want Richard Allen Davis to be executed. And he doesn't trust the system to keep killers behind bars for life without parole. These are individuals we never want to see on the streets again. And the first step towards giving them a possibility of getting back onto the streets is to do away with the death penalty. It's an emotional issue, and most Californians still support the death penalty, according to opinion polls. But the hanging judge of Orange County says it's time for Californians to decide between their emotions and their wallets. You could balance the criminal budget in the state of California if you would eliminate the death penalty. Alan Martin, CBS 5.